she is sure enough for him. Fruit sickle. Who's ready to go see what kind of mischief we can get into today? Welcome back to the channel, Big Mike, back out here in the Hoopty Barn, and today we're going to work on a little bit different kind of Hoopty. So, meet the star of the show. Yeah, this is an old school aluminum casted uh, DR trimmer mower. Got a... Uh, 6.75 horsepower engine. Uh, I don't even know who makes it. Let's see. Uh, so it's got an overhead valve. I don't know. Probably if it comes or something. Most likely. Anyway, we'll get into that. But we bought this dude and uh, we got a reasonable deal on it. So, anyway. What we got to do is we got to do fix this belt situation. That dude is in a bad way. So here's the dealio, though. We got a manual. I know it's kind of weird for the hoopty barn to have a manual, but. Old Big Mike, he needs these kind of things because he ain't none too smart. So we're going to do this thing together. I kind of flipped through here already. And it's it's got the whole thing. It's a belt and pulley system and all that. Kind of looks sort of similar to that right there. So we're going to see if we can't take this dude apart and put it together and Done went and got me a new belt according to the one it says it needs in here. Just in case you're curious, this one here is a one half by 45 inch AK or A43K or 4L450K. Whatever all that means. So, anywho. We're going to get some tools and uh, take like some of this stuff apart and then we can figure out to do that. So I'll be back in a second, boys. All right, so pull this dude down and show you. Well, I know it's just built up on the grass and whatever, but this dude's got this little bar that goes in there. Just thought I'd show you that before we pull all that out. Got a little spring right there. Got a little keeper. And there we go. There's the head. Yeah. Whoops. Sorry, I dropped you on your face. Ah! Anyway. So, reckon that old bar keep that dude off the pulley? I don't know. Anyhow. So there's that little bar goes in there next we're going to pull this little guard off of this thing and see where we go from there so, next okay so let's get up and close some personal and all that business with this thing so if you look up in here this thing's had some modifying this little thing here is not on here anywhere. So that's probably, they probably had a hard time keeping the belt on here. And uh, I don't know, that looks awful loose up there. I mean, can't imagine where that would be a problem. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna have to get that off of there. And this, say we got 
a wrench there. Not a socket there. So, luckily, doesn't have any of those old antiquated safety features like, you know, guards and stuff like that. I mean, it don't even show them on the picture. There. Yeah. I didn't see it on the picture, so it probably didn't even come with it. So, yeah, who needs them anyway? I mean, you know, everybody knows you don't need a guard on anything. Huh? So, anyhow. All right. Well, I'm going to pull this head off of here. And uh, we'll see what she looks like from there. All right. So, we got that off of there. Got that little pulley off of there and got her cleaned up. Took all that business off. One thing I noticed, that dude up there, it's like that thing needs tightened. This one here, I mean, yeah, they move around, but it looks like they could be tightened a little. It looks like it slid down quite a bit. So I'm going to start by trying to straighten that up. May even actually just take that off. It looks like it ought to be straighter than that. That bent. I think it probably happened whenever that belt hung up in there. And we're going to have to take these off. So we can get this belt off. And, uh, well, I mean, I can cut it off, but still got to get the other one on. So, I mean, all right, so I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take that off. And we'll be back. So a little interesting tidbit just figured out. This one right here goes on this bar that goes across. That one right there, you can put your socket on there and all that but it goes up here that's on your mount on the base of your engine so you gotta put a wrench on that one too so just thought i'd throw that out there looks like it's the same on the other side too so anyhow maybe helpful okay so I took this whole thing off and I did straighten it. I was going to try to tighten it up more. Well, it won't tighten up more. You look at that dude right there. I mean, that's how tight as she goes. She's stripped out up in there. So that might have something to do with why she's acting a fool. So how in the world am I supposed to fix that? Well, I'm going to show you uh, my hoopty fix on here. Whenever I get a bolt that's stripped out like that, this bolt, it still has plenty of thread on it. Now, these threads are actually really good on this bolt. It's the inside up in there that's kind of screwed up. But if I don't have, don't have the right size tap or whatever to go up in there and change out the bolt and all that. And you see that's a shoulder bolt. It's got a ride on that. So... Anyway, see if we can get that to focus. Ooh. Right there. Anyway, so I want to show you how Big Mike fixes. All right, so what I'll do is this right here. What in the world is this right here? Copper flashing. See? So, I'll just take my trusty little hobo freight shears. Cut a little bitty strip. Just a bit piece like that. What I'll do is I will work that around the bolt and I'll put it to a point in there and I'll thread that up in there with it and that sticky stuff on there will hold it on there and it'll hold it in place and that'll fill in that gap 
So that's how you hoop the things. All right, so she is tight, tight, tight. We went ahead and put that dude back on there, even though it seems to be an aftermarket piece, whatever. Because that's obviously keeping that from sliding back and forth. Unless, of course, it's shredded. Got that dude all put back together-ish. Ish. I don't know. Anyway, so now we just got to put that head back on there. And uh, we'll get her buttoned up and see where we're at. Alright, so this is probably a good idea. Yeah, we're wearing short britches. You saw the guard on here. Let's see what we can do. this helpful or entertaining or anything at all do me a favor like subscribe push that notification bell share it with your friends say look at what that dumb hillbilly done smoking out the whole neighborhood anyway and uh until next time you keep watching i'm gonna keep working Yeah, that was fun, but not nearly as fun as the No Name Nationals are going to be. Remember, don't forget about the No Name Nationals, September 30th, October 1st, and uh, just Google No Name Nationals, go to uh, Roadkill Customs, and uh, look at his website, and look up some of these guys. Man, they got some awesome content. You don't want to miss out, so anyway, check them out.